You know, how do you test character before you get involved in a situation, any kind of situation? Well, one of the ways that you can test it is if they're trying to rush you. If somebody's trying to rush you into something. And there's situations, whether you're buying a vehicle, sometimes you might be in a rush to buy a vehicle or something, and they got you by the, you know. But usually if somebody's trying to rush you into something, it's usually because they don't want you to uh, see their character. Because once the character shines through, you'll run. You'll run, run, run. So what's another way? So if they're trying to rush in some, you already know something's up with that. And so what's another way to test character? Talk to them. Just talk to them. Have a conversation. If they don't have any Bible truth, no character. You can't have any. You can't have character without Bible. You can't have character if you don't have any Bible in you. If you don't think like the Bible. If you think if you don't think biblically, you you just don't have any character. I don't care who it is. Another way is to uh find out if they can endure see how long they stayed on the job or see how long they stayed in a situation of some kind testing character is of utmost importance really the most important thing to be honest with A lot of people talk a big talk, but they don't follow through. Do they follow through? Another way to test characters is just incrementally, you know. See if they uh, keep their appointments. See if they're late all the time. If they're always late, that's selfish. They're selfish. If they're late to everything they do, they're selfish. If they're always late, they don't care about anybody else and other people's time. They just care about their time. If you bring in a uh, some food, say this is for everybody and they just gobble it up that's one way to, that's hard to believe people would even do that but that's a that's another way to test character people's character doesn't change unless they have a major born again experience or something or life event listen 
Listen to their words. Also, listen to their words. Listen to the words out of their mouth. Watch what they enjoy. Watch. Pay attention to what they enjoy, and pay attention to to what makes what they they think is funny. Pay attention to what they think is funny. I'm doing this on the fly here. I'm, I'm gonna put this on pause if I think it's a little something. Else. One way to test character is test a person, see if they see if they have the win-lose mindset or the win-win mindset. Which mindset do they you do they have? You know. I thought I hit pause. I was taking a sip of a drink. But, um, yeah. One way to test characters, do they have a win-lose or a win-win? If they have the win-lose, then they, they are in the old paradigm. The old Adamic paradigm. Do they have a scarcity mindset? If their mindset is scarcity... That's bad character. That's a sign of bad character. Everybody can fall into it, but if you're talking to somebody, do they have any kind of hope and faith? Are they walking by faith? You can test them. Are they walking by faith or are they walking by sight? You know. If you just talk to a person long enough and watch how they you know how they treat others how they're going to treat you and watch how they treat others that's how they're going to treat you if they're proud of doing evil If they're proud of getting over on people, and I've had, I've watched that. I can't believe people are actually proud of that. It's hard to believe, but they are. If they talk about how they got over on somebody, that's a big red flag. If they're always fighting, red flag. If they're always cursing, red flag. Somebody might say, well, cursing is not a bad thing. Out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Red flag. Look at the people to hang out with. Pay attention to those. If you're renting, if you're renting to them, if you're gonna rent to them, really, you could just, just, or any, just go out. Okay, so let's say there's somebody that's you're just. Whatever you're, whatever you're doing, <clears throat> whether it's dating, marriage, business, whatever. Here's a here's an easy way to uh, test their character. This will make some people mad, but that's all right. Go outside and look at their tags. Look at their tags. Good look at their inspection sticker. You might say that's that's not fair, that's not right. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. If they want all the privileges but no responsibility, that is a selfish person who has no character and they are not responsible and you want to stay away from them. <coughs> if you want to have a car or anything 
but you don't want to be responsible. You want all the privileges, but no responsibility. Anything that you want to do. I don't care what it is. You want a bicycle, but you don't want to pump the tire up. You don't want to oil the chain. I don't care what it is. Car, camper, anything. You want something. You want all the privileges, but you don't want responsibility. You're a bad apple. Period. Plain says, If they hate authority, listen to them. Another way to chess character, do they hate authority? If they hate authority, they hate, a God, they hate God's authority. Because all authority points, goes back to that ultimate authority. Maybe I'll do another video. It's, it's easy to test character if you just don't get blind by the, blinded by the words and the, the fakeness. Like one YouTuber said, he said, don't pay attention to the surface. They'll come at you with some surface talk. Don't pay attention to that. Look at the hidden. Look at the uns, the things they don't say. And we all know that flattery, flattery is a bad, bad thing. If they're just flattering you all the time, you know, you know you can't trust them.